Hello, this is Brian Fisher. I'm a software IT specialist for IBM Tivoli Business Automation for the Southeast region. And today we will cover how to install and configure IBM Tivoli Composite Application Manager for Response Time version 6.2 or ITCAM for RT for short. Part 2 the web response time agent on Windows Server 2003 Standard Edition SP2. Before we install the WRT agent, we must first install the Windows Network Monitor. In order to do this, we will first locate the control panel, then go down to our network connections, and right click on our local area connection, select properties, and click the install button on the general tab, then select protocol and the type of component, click add, And then select the network monitor driver protocol. Click OK. And now you see down here we have the network monitor driver installed. So we can close this. Now we need to verify that our ITM infrastructure is up and running. We will do this by launching our monitor manage Tivoli services GUI. So we go to start IBM Tivoli monitoring manage Tivoli services. And we see here that everything started except for the TEP server. So we need to start that by right clicking and selecting start. Alrighty then, now we are ready to begin the installation of the WRT agent. We will now locate our installation media. Web response time agent. Windows. And we'll scroll down to setup.exe. And we are presented with the installation wizard. We'll click next. It asks us to install the prerequisites needed for the web response time agent. It says it needs IBM Global Security Toolkit and IBM Java. And we see here we have a current version of the Global Security Toolkit. And we also have a current version of the IBM Java. So we will not select either of those and we will click next. Accept the software license agreement. It asks us which features we want to install. We look under the Tivoli Enterprise Monitoring Agents or TEMA and we want to install everything under here. We want to install this support for web response time agent. We also want to install support for the Tivoli Enterprise Monitoring Server or the TEMS. We also want to install support for the TEPS the Tivoli Enterprise Portal Server, and we also want to install support for the Tivoli Enterprise Portal Desktop Client as well. So 
So we will click next. It asks us which agents we would like to configure for a remote deployment. We're not uh, configuring any of these for remote deployment, so click next. And here it gives us a summary of the settings we selected for this installation. Just check over it. Everything looks good. Click next. So now it is asking us what we would like to set up. We would like to configure the TEP. We would like to install application support files. Configure agents to the TEMS. We want to launch the Tivoli monitoring services for additional configuration. So we'll click next. It asks us the host name of where the TEP resides. That is correct. So we'll click next. So now it is asking us how we want to configure the TEMS. We want to make it a hub TEMS. And the TEMS name is correct, hub underscore host name. And we want to use the protocol IP pipe. So click OK. It asks us what the hub TEMS host name is going to be. And that is correct. And the port number we'll accept as default. Click OK. It asks us we would like to add the application support to which TEMS and the TEMS on this computer is the one we want to add the support to so click OK we want to select all applications to add to the TEMS and click OK and it says application support has completed so we'll click next it asks us how we want to connect to the TEMS and we'll use protocol IP pipe and we will not check connection through firewall because we don't have one click OK it asks us what the host name of the TEMS is that's correct and the port number will leave default again click OK. Now it asks us how we want to configure the web response time agent. We'll accept the default as monitoring HTTP transactions and we'll leave the default port as 80. And the installation has completed. We will not display the readme and click finish. Now the Manage Tivoli Services GUI will load up. Here it is. And we will verify that all our components are running and they all say started. So we can close this out. And we will launch the TEP to verify the web response time agent has been installed properly. And here we are presented with the tap. We will navigate down the enterprise into the window systems, into this system, and we will select the web response time agent. And we are presented with the WRT workspace. And under the agent messages view, we see that the response time agent has started successfully. So this concludes this video on how to install and configure ITCAM for response time version 6.2 web response time agent. I would encourage you to continue this tutorial by watching part 3. Now I would like to thank you for your time and you may contact me anytime at bfisher at us.ibm.com. Thanks.